Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HSGX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame that is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping outward levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Friday, so that is where the green line there is coming from. But after today's price movement, definitely some updates here need to be made and a very nice start to the week. First thing I'm gonna do is actually just use this green line here for the newest update. Uh, reason being that from a presentation point of view, I don't wanna risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines all over the place. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. So sure, the level down here at 20 cents does still pertain. It's just not exactly relevant right now. And like I said, in the spirit of keeping this as clean and, and uh, m most straightforward as possible. Like I said, I'm just gonna use this line. So one of the newest areas of support, and what I would call the ideal level of support is up there at 21 cents. Ideal meaning, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the best going forward? Definitely if the price can continue to hold up above 21 cents. I say continue, because if you look here, you can see that there was multiple times where the price, oops, let's try that again, there we go. Multiple times where the price tried to go down through there, and you know that the, the bears did succeed one point, but that didn't last very long at all, and then the price was you know, quickly right back above there. So 21 cents, that ideal level. Don't get me wrong though, I'm not saying that if the price falls below there, that implies the entire chart is destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay above that level, that would definitely be a massive sign of strength going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving, as time goes by, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what you know is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 21 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? As far as where the sellers are at, Pretty straightforward right now, and that's all about the 23 cent mark up there. A uh, couple times today, the price were, was immediately rejected. Other times, the price got up around that general area. So keep an eye on 23 cents, that'll be public enemy number one. All in all though, any way look at it, as long as the price continues to chip away at those higher bases, like it's been doing, then that'll be, uh, you know, everything else will eventually take care of itself. So keep an eye on those levels, but yeah, focus on the healthy consolidations and let the trend just keep on doing its thing. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.